Hi, my name is Dr. Rich Menlo and I'm the fish vet. In this video, we've been called out by a client who keeps freshwater stingrays. We will be treating one that has sustained severe burns from an aquarium heater. In the anesthetic bath, added 100 milligrams per liter MS222, buffered with 200 milligrams per liter of bicarb. So what we've got here is um, Cephifo. We're going to give that at 20 milligrams per kilogram, uh, intramuscular, and Stenazolol, an anabolic steroid. We're going to give that at about 5 milligrams per kilogram body weight, intramuscular as well. Uh, we've also prepared um, some topical antiseptic. We have used um, sterile saline, uh, made that up with um, Cephiophor as well because that's the drug that we're going to be using uh, intramuscularly so we thought we'll use that topically. Because the rice stopped eating, we've prepared 70 ml of fish food blended with half a ml of vitamin B complex for tube feeding. What I'll do, um, since you've got her out, uh, you can do the tube feeding while I Take the samples. So I'm just gonna take a sample from here. Tube feeding can be dangerous, so it should be done by or in the presence of a trained professional. So here we're taking a swab to check for presence of any bacteria that may be colonizing the wounds, and the information gained can guide us to help us to continue or modify the treatment regimen. Um, okay, so with this one, what you do, what I'll get you to do is just drizzle it all over. Okay. That's the um, antibiotic mixture. Now that we've flushed the wounds with the Cephiofur antibiotic solution, we're applying the fish bandage which will adhere or absorb any of the antibiotic solution to prevent it washing off. This is applied in two layers. And now we're giving the Stanazolol and Cephifor antibiotic injections. So, I'll tighten both. Here we've added an air stone to increase the oxygen levels while the ray is recovering from anesthesia. So that's it for today's treatment. And as far as aftercare goes, she's still got three more antibiotic injections to be given every three days and we will be monitoring her appetite closely. If she doesn't eat, we will need to tube feed her intermittently, say every two to three days until she recovers and gains her appetite. So thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to get updates of our future videos and have a fantastic week.